in sixth grade, you said, when the hell am I gonna use this map? Well, today, we're gonna try to figure out what that angle is. How do we figure out that angle? Well, back then we had a big circle with learning degrees. So it could be zero degrees or 360 degrees if you go all the way around the circle. If you bisect it, go all the way across one side to the other, that now go halfway around, that's 180 degrees. If we dissect it again, go through the middle, there you go. Now that is 90 degrees and that is 270 degrees, like so. Now we're gonna figure out what that angle is. The most common uh, tool that you'll run across is a square and it's 90 degrees. One of the most common tools you come across when you're doing your angles is the square. <laughs> and this will help us calculate the angles. Girls behave. Stella's got my, I, I can't, right now it's my three, because I'm. that's a clock. <laughs> Usually I say she's got my six, because that's my back. 12, three, six, nine. Similar to your 360. 0, 360, 90, 180, 270, 360. How about the angles of a dangle today? All right, so we're gonna figure out what this angle is. And to do that, I'm gonna use my pivot point and I'm gonna slide it down until the edge lines up with the points. Now, that is looking like 60, no, let us get it all the way flat so that the flat of your angle sits. And now I can see that that is actually 63 degrees. So this was cut at 63 degrees. Now, when I put it on the chop saw, I'm either gonna put it at 63 degrees or I have to flip it <clears throat> and cut the opposite angle of the dangle. So if it's not 63, it would then be 37. If I did my math right, 27, <laughs> not 37. I'd have the wrong angle if I did 37, it'd have to be 27. <laughs> Let's also do it on this side to make sure that we are at the same, at the same angle of the dangle there. So we're gonna bring this over so that we can flip this on the pivot point so that it lines up flush there. And when we get to this flush, we are also going to see that it is that same 63 degrees. So they cut both sides to 63 degrees. So remember, depending on which way you're cutting on your chop saw, it's either gonna be at 63 or it's gonna be flipped on that 90 to 27. And that's how you find the angle of the dangle. All right, we are going to use the angle of the dangle to get to our 63 degrees. All right, starting at zero, we are going to pivot so we get to 63 degrees. Now, I've got, eh, well, I gotta keep going a little bit more. There, 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 there's 63. Okay, so make sure that our pivot point is tight and still locked in on the rim. We have 60 is right here, 61, 62, 63. And then we are going to mark the wood. So when we cut, that is the line that we want to take off so that we can match our trim out. Of course.
course I have it upside down. But if I were to put that underneath there or above there, you would see, angle. you can see right there that it would be that same angle. I can't get my pencil on the other side. Uh -oh. Like so. So that's my test piece. Now I have to actually measure out my trim for my big windows at the bunkhouse um, and cut them to size, paint them, and then